welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology we've been looking for the different series of videos and in this video I'll be talking about the difference between a DNA B DNA and Z DNA so stay tuned and watch this video so normally whatever the normal DNA structure we know of is B DNA that is the most common form of the DNA that we know of okay but before understanding the difference between A, B and Z DNA, we first need to know the basic structure of a DNA. DNA is a double stranded helix, we all know that. So we need to know some parameters related to helix first, then we can identify the difference between A, B and Z DNA. So let's talk about the helix parameters. We can start with some basic helix parameters. For example, if you look at here, this is a double stranded helix. And in this helix, double stranded helix means two strands will wrap around each other. Now the wrapping has some difference. I can draw the wrapping like that or I can also draw the wrapping like this. Now can you tell me whichever among these two is the exact structure of the DNA? The second one is more appropriate than the first one. Because if you look at carefully, the, the wrapping of those two strands together give us two type of grooves between them. Some groove are much broader, that is known as a major groove, while some grooves are thinner and narrower, known as minor groove. So two grooves separated. And if you look at from one side of the part, you'll see a minor groove, a major groove, minor groove, major groove, like that. Okay. This is the first thing you can notice. Second thing is that as two helix, as two different strands are spiral and both the strands have this DNA bases coming in and those bases have hydrogen bonds formed between them. So what we can see is simplified fashion we can tell DNA is nothing but a twisted ladder. When a ladder is formed, when you start twisting it from the opposite ends, it will form the helix structure. And the difficulty is those ladders are attached with this staircases that is the double base pairing. Okay. In this case, if you look at carefully, you will find out that another parameter is of a single turn from one particular rotation to the next. So if you calculate it from one minor group to another, that will be a complete turn and that turn contains several different nucleotide sequences, right? So that is a turn, the complete difference between the two crosses, the DNA of a minor group to minor group or major group to major group. So that is the turn. Another thing is that normal structure of the DNA that is known as the B DNA contains almost approximately 10 nucleotides per turn, okay? Now, if you look at here, there is a distance between two adjacent double base pair. You see, this is a base pair, this is another base pair. So, there is a small difference between these two base pair. That is known as the rise. Okay? So, we know what is turn, we know what is rise, we also know what is major groove and minor groove is. So, let's look some more differences. If you look at the BDNA structure, because it is the most common type of structure that we see, you will see the major minor group pretty clearly. In ADNA, you will also see major and minor group. But the difference between B and ADNA, by looking at this picture, ADNA is much deep compared to the minor group of BDNA. Okay? So these are some important observations. The next thing you can see also, another parameter is called tilt. Tilt is the angle with which two consecutive base pairs are placed with one another. I told you that two base pairs are present and the distance between them is known as rise. Now two base pair might not be placed in the parallel order. In most of the time, they are not placed in the parallel fashion. They are present in little angle. And this angle they are placed in, this is known as the tilt. Slight variations from the axis that is known as the tilt. If you look at this axis of the DNA, 
then slight variations from the axis will known as the tilt. It will be a degree of angle that will be there. For A DNA, B DNA and Z DNA, this value for tilt is different. So when you compare them, you will find all these parameter values a little different. That is the idea of understanding the helix parameters here. If you go here, let's say the type of helix, B DNA is right handed helix, while A DNA is also right handed, but Z DNA is a left handed helix. Second thing, helix diameter for the B DNA is 2.37, for the A DNA 2.55, and Z DNA 1.84, okay. If you look at here for rise per base pair, the rise means the distance between two bases, adjacent bases, remember, is in nanometer unit. For B DNA it is 0 0.34 nanometer, for A DNA it is 0 0.29 nanometer and for Z DNA it is 0.37 nanometer. That means Z DNA contains more bases per turn. Sorry. Here you see the distance per complete turn as I told you that the turn means the distance between two different turns and that will be known as the pitch. The value for pitch in nanometer in case of B DNA it is 3.4, in case of A DNA it is 3.2, in case of Z DNA it is 4.5, okay. So what does that mean? That means a complete turn for the Z DNA is longer. While for B DNA is moderate and A DNA is the shorter. So more of base pairs are stacked. So this turn is smaller for. So if we just compare the twist here, I can tell you a simple idea. Like B DNA, say A DNA, uh, Z DNA have this tw twist like this. A DNA twist smaller and B DNA is in the moderate form. So that will be the distance between these two complete turns. Number of base pairs per complete turn, in case of B DNA it is 10 bases per turn base pairs, A DNA 11 base pairs per turn and Z DNA 12 base pairs per turn which we can find out from this rise as well because they those bases are distantly placed and they per turn carries more bases. That is the reason they have a longer pitch, right? You see, those two bases are placed in much more distance and multi the number of bases per turn also is high for the Z DNA. That is the reason to complete turn takes more distance compared with A and B DNA. That is called the pitch. That is why if you look at the pitch for the Z DNA, it is the highest among three. Now topology of the major groove, in case of B DNA, it is wide and deep. In case of A DNA, the major groove is narrow but deep. For Z DNA, it is flat. In case of minor groove, if you look for B DNA, narrow but shallow. For A DNA, broad but shallow. For Z DNA, narrow but deep. Now let's look at each of them the structures. For the B DNA, it looks like this. Now by looking at the structure, it will be much better way to understand about all those parameters. For example, see the twist, see the rise between the bases, you will see the pitch and you see the diameter, everything is provided here in the chart. For the A DNA, you will see something like that, which is kind of a compressed over there. So A DNA is kind of a compressed format of the B DNA. You can simply tell that. But Z DNA is kind of stretched format of the B DNA. So in a, in a very simple summary you can tell, if you compress B DNA it becomes A, if you stretch B DNA it becomes kind of Z DNA. So that is the idea and the difference between the structural parameters between A DNA, B DNA and Z DNA. Now these structures in most of the cases, we will see the B DNA as the genetic material. In very few cases, we have A DNA, but Z DNA is very uncommon. 
and uh, this ZDNA might be formed due to the variations of the BDNA in some situations. So that's the difference. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and definitely share this video with your friends. Thank you.